Literacy coaching is often called upon as an important lever of change for teachers' practice and student achievement. Yet research studies have also shown that meaningful change in coaching contexts is rather elusive. In our article, What Does It Mean to Say Coaching is Relational?, I, Dana Robertson, and my co-authors, Lauren Podesky, Evelyn Ford-Connors, and Jeannie Perator, set out to explore factors that may be associated with these discrepant findings. We grounded our work on the premise that learning is inherently social and, as such, highly effective teachers are relationship builders. Yet we have not fully explored this relational understanding in literacy coaching contexts. While we know people make meaning through dialogic exchanges, most coaching research has examined outcomes of what teachers and students did or did not do in relation to coaching, rather than how they constructed meaning as they interacted. When people think about literacy coaching, they often espouse the importance of building relationships before the work of improving teaching can happen. We agree, but we see relational coaching as extending the importance of relationship building and trust toward a complex idea of the lived experiences in coaching events. To explore these ideas in coaching, we undertook a research review, but we were mindful of an assertion by Surrey and Clark that literature reviews should reflect the complementary diversity of theories and methods applied in educational research. We found this idea specifically important in our context because the studies of coaching we set out to understand are known to be especially diverse in methodological and epistemological foundations. Likely, this is because the constellation of factors influencing individual coaching contexts are themselves multiple and diverse. Our research synthesis, thus, is a metasynthesis, which we see as especially well-suited to understanding the complexities of how literacy coaching is enacted in school settings. Our metasynthesis presents the collective findings of a small corpus of 28 studies examining literacy coaching in elementary and secondary settings, and our analyses indicated that the realization of co-construction of knowledge and pedagogical understanding may be influenced by differential patterns of enactment related to positioning and coach-teacher dispositions towards coaching. These included horizontal versus vertical flows of knowledge as coaches and teachers interact around teaching and learning, interactions where there is more or less distributed expertise, and the important roles of both affirmative vulnerability, vulnerability that propels people towards improvement, and destabilizing vulnerability that hinders engagement in the coaching process. We also discuss ways coaches and teachers can develop more reciprocity in coach-teacher relationships and move towards a more relational coaching approach, which may be an important consideration in thinking about how we leverage literacy coaching towards more sustainable and less elusive outcomes.